Hi there, my name is Andrew, and I'm a product training specialist here at Thermador. And today, we're gonna to be taking a look at some basic oven controls on your Thermador wall oven. Now here at Thermador, we do have three collections of wall ovens, and today, we're gonna to be looking at our Masterpiece collection. Our Masterpiece collection is very easy to notice because it has a complete user interface of a touchscreen. No knobs or dials, making it easy, simple, and clean to use. So now, we'll need to turn our oven on. All you have to do on the Masterpiece Collection is gently press your on and off feature. It is similar to a smartphone, so there's no need to press down with any force. Just a simple touch is all you'll need. So alongside on off, your Masterpiece Collection comes with various other features that we'll delve into on right now. With so many new cooking modes today, like convection bake, true convection, and even just regular bake, it can be a little difficult to know the difference between them all. Thankfully, Thermador makes it easy for you. So as you go into your wall oven and select any of your cooking or heating modes, all you have to do is just press the info button. Up on top of the screen will come just about a sentence or two, telling you what's best to use for it, a really good tip or trick. It's kind of like having a little use and care manual or a chef right next to you. Just another thing that makes a thermometer wall oven that much easier to use. Your start stop feature allows you to begin or end any cooking or cleaning modes. You will know that your mode has been activated when the screen turns blue. One tip, try not to open the door during preheat as the loss of hot air will cause the oven to take longer to regain that heat. When the line gets to the right hand side, the oven will announce it is done preheating and ready to begin cooking. Then you come across our fast preheat feature. Now it only is used with five select cooking modes. Bake, convection bake, true convection, roast and convection roast. And it's exactly as you would think, it is going to preheat your oven at a much faster rate than a regular conventional oven. So to use, select your cooking mode and press fast preheat. Now generally, your oven should be ready to go in about seven and a half to eight minutes, much faster than those other ovens. But one thing to notice for a little tip is that you should only be using one standard rack and generally for something that is for 350 degrees. Now, the more racks you add, and the higher the temperature, that's perfectly all right. But just know that fast preheat may take a little bit longer. Next, the timers feature. So right next to the light, all you have to do is press your timers, and there will be three timers on your thermometer wall oven. A kitchen timer, an oven timer, and an end up timer. Now, your kitchen timer does not directly coordinate with your food. It's just like a timer that you would find on your smartphone, counting up time. If you were to do the oven timer, that does coordinate with your food, so as your food finishes, the oven cavity will shut off when your food is complete. And the end up timer is something that's great for large occasions, gatherings, and holidays, if you're ever wanting to have your food done at a specific point in time. To use this timer, place your food inside the oven cavity and close the door. Then select your appropriate cooking mode. Finally, in the oven timer, choose how much time it needs to cook and in the end up timer, select what time you'd like your food to be finished by. For example, 45 minutes, and to be done at 6 p.m. for dinner. Your oven will make sure it turns itself on and be completed at the time you like it to end at. Moving along, the menu feature is where you'll be able to access all your heating, cooking, cleaning, and setting modes in your oven. When you select menu and then scroll to settings, this is where you can truly customize your thermometer oven to be your own. The first few options offer you the chance to select the time, select your language, choose your clock display and format, but you also have the option of increasing or decreasing the volume and sounds. One is off and five is full volume. You can also increase or decrease the brightness of the screen. One is the dimmest and five is the brightest. If you and your family are those who observe the Sabbath, this is also where you can turn on and off your Sabbath mode. As you suspect, pressing the light button will easily turn your oven's cavity lighting on and off. If you ever want to clean your screen, just press the lock feature. Pressing it will actually activate your lock feature and allow you to clean your screen or to make sure your kids are not tampering with any of your cooking modes. To unactivate, simply hold down your lock feature for about four seconds. That'll unactivate it and you're ready to start cooking again. I hope this helps you with your Thermador Masterpiece wall oven and how the oven controls are able to be used.
for a full list of how to use your oven properly, perfectly, and for everything it's worth, make sure you go online to Thermador.com and check out your use and care manual for everything it has. Until next time, we'll see you later.